Jahan Dotson is the Washington Commander's first selection in the 2022 NFL Draft. And in this video, we will provide some analysis on positives that Dotson will bring to the team and as well as maybe any drawbacks. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video from the Washington Football Maniacs. While I was hoping the commanders would be in line to draft safety Kyle Hamilton, the Baltimore Ravens came in and swooped him up two picks in front of the Commanders. So the Commanders went to the next best player available, Jahan Dotson, and I liked the move. While others questioned why Rivera and company traded down and passed up the opportunity for more elite talent, we would later find out that the move proved to be a very good move indeed for the Washington Commanders. So let's look at the positives that Jahan Dotson brings to the team. Dotson is a very good route runner. He understands tempo and how to use it in his routes to keep defenders off balance. He runs tight, precise routes that work great in zone coverage. Dotson knows how to throttle down those routes and find the softness in the zone and to be quarterback friendly so that he is always open in those zones. He will definitely give defenders fits. He is very good versus press coverage despite his size. Jahan wins with footwork and quickness, and he knows how to make himself a hard target for cornerbacks to get hands on him. Now, he is very good with his hands, and he has maximum catch radius. Just go and look at his highlights, and you can see some one-handed catches. Now, Dotson he will maximize his size and length by being able to snatch throws well away from his body. He has no issues fully extending to catch a pass even in a crowd. Dotson isn't just a go route receiver. Uh, no, 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 no. He can give you plenty of yak and make things happen on short, intermediate, and deep routes. He's a competitive player who is willing to throw the block as well and quite frankly, something that that really isn't always easy to find in a receiver. And one thing that we needed with the departure of DeAndre Carter is the fact that Jahan Dotson has been a productive punt returner as well. So what about negatives? Well, he is below average height and build. And well, honestly, <laughs> that's about it. But you know what? Back in the day with the posse, we had Gary Clark, who was what? He was 5'9". And Ricky Sanders wasn't much taller coming in at 5'11". And then you fast forward, you know, a couple of decades later, he had Santana Moss and well, he wasn't exactly a, a tall tree himself. So I'm not really worried about his height, and I'm sure that in time, Dotson will put on some muscle. Jahan Dotson can line up inside and play slot, or he can play outside. He's very versatile, and certainly position flex will be mostly needed. Overall, Dotson will take a lot of pressure away from Terry McLaurin, and this should give defenses fits all year long. Pro comparisons... Well, certainly he's compared to Tyler Lockett. And I would probably also add Deshaun Jackson as well. I think that's a pretty good comparison if I do say so myself. So overall, I think I would give this draft pick of Jahan Dotson a solid A-. minus. The only thing I would count off would just simply be because, well, I kind of wanted Kyle Hamilton over anybody else first, but since he was off the board, you know what? We picked Dotson and overall, it was worth it trading down because of all of the players that we wound up picking up from the trade. And I think in the long run, that is going to prove to be a fantastic thing for the Washington Commanders. So let us know what you think. Do you agree with the Washington football maniacs? Do you think that Dotson was a good pick? Let us know in the comments. And as always, please support this channel 
by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And as always, you can visit us on Patreon and please consider supporting us there as well. Thanks for watching. Hell to the commanders and let's go maniacs.